Darren, and this is a video of the main muscles that control hip flexion, knee flexion, hip extension, and knee extension. The muscle groups I'm going to be going over for this, um, they both uh, aid in flexion and extension of the joints. You might wonder what flexion and extension are. Um, extension is a increase in the angle of a joint, but flexion is the decrease in an angle of a joint. To measure this, um, there's a device called a goniometer, and it measures the angle of your joint by degrees. To help you better understand um, the angles of a joint, I have this illustration here of the angles of a knee joint. Um, straight across with the leg fully extended, it's 100 degrees. Um, the leg is bent at 45 as we're moving towards uh, flexion. Now the leg is bent at 90 and the leg is bent at 155 degrees. A uh, goniometer would be a useful tool in measuring these angles. This slide will better help you understand the concept of flexion and extension. Um, right here at the knee joint we have the goniometer set up and it is measuring the angle of this leg coming straight down. Flexion is a decrease in the angle of a joint so 90 degrees and the joint is moving this way. Um, with extension we have the joint angle increasing to 180 straight across. Um, the muscles that cause extension in the leg are the quadriceps. There's four quadriceps. The rectus femoris, the vastus medialis, the vastus intermedius, and the vastus lateralis. All these muscles are located up here. And when they contract, they pull the leg straight. Um, there's three hamstrings that cause flexion. When they contract, they pull the leg back and decrease the angle of this joint. Um, the three hamstring muscles are the bicep femoris, the semitendinosus, and the semimembranosus. Those muscles are located in the back of the thigh, like that. The next group of muscles I want to talk about are the hip flexors. There are three major true hip flexors the iliacus, the psoas, and the rectus femoris. The rectus femoris is also a quadricep, but because it cross crosses two joints, the knee and the hip, it also helps with um, hip flexion. So um, when these muscles are located right here in the front of the hip, and when they contract, they pull the leg forward, and the angle here decreases. So it's hip flexion. The next muscle I want to talk about is the gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus is opposite of the hip flexors that we just talked about in that it's on your butt. Uh, the gluteus maximus is involved in uh, extension of the thigh at the hip joint. When this muscle here contracts, next I want to go over some exercises that are useful for strengthening the muscles of the thigh. Um, this particular exercise is um, useful for strengthening your quadriceps. Your quadriceps are located here. When these muscles contract, they pull the leg up into knee extension. However, you can't just strengthen your quadriceps or it'll imbalance you. To be happy, you have to strengthen the opposite side too. It is important to note that if you are strengthening your quadriceps, it is also important to strengthen the muscles on the opposite side, which would be your hamstrings. This exercise here is good for strengthening your hamstrings. Um, as the leg moves back this way, the hamstrings contract into knee flexion. Here are a couple exercises 
that you can use to strengthen your muscles of the hip. There are sit-ups to strengthen the muscles of the hip flexors. And there are squats to strengthen the muscles of the gluteus maximus. Uh, now let's take all we learned and put it into action. Muscle functions I just taught you enable us to do certain things, like kicking a soccer ball or self-defense. Oh. I'm Darren Srovic, and that was a video lesson on the muscles and the functions of the hip, the butt, and the thigh.